All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video today with the Polaris Ranger XP-1000. It is the crew cab edition. I know we've got a lot of videos out there on this. Um, check out our playlist for all things in regards to the Polaris Ranger. Uh, I think you're going to find some videos out there that are of value, and that's what our goal is, to continue to do that and give you guys good information that you can use um, in your everyday life. So I thought it was going to be a good day. Uh, since we just had a really good cold front come through, it is fall. Last week, you should have seen the leaves behind me. I mean, they were gorgeous. We still got a little bit of color here in Ohio, but they're starting to get to that uh, dark brown uh, looking phase. But um, with fall and winter starting to come, these doors are very, very um, useful. And I know a lot of you guys like the videos we posted out there on the how-to and review on the doors. Also with the um, heater video that has the doors there and, and how well they do. Um, you can check those videos out. We'll put them uh, up here for you guys to um, check out throughout the video. So be mindful of that. If you're looking at that, we'll also put it in the description there below so you can quick reference link to those. But I thought it would be a good time to, sh to share with you a long-term review on these. We've had the Polaris Ranger now and these doors for almost three years and they're starting to get some wear and tear on them and we can show you this review now to what we like and some things that we dislike about them that you can utilize when you're looking to maybe purchase them so um, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video we appreciate you guys coming back and let's go all right so before we get started I want to give you guys a quick review on how they actually operate and just the easy use that these doors uh, provide so to get into them real simple you can unlatch it there it does have a key where you can lock it if you're going to be at an event you can lock all four doors and it makes your entire vehicle secure um yeah they can people can cut with a knife through the plastic but it does give that extra layer of defense to deter people from doing something they probably shouldn't be doing so latch right there opens up um all four of them do exactly the same um, very simple. They have a latching system inside where you just push this forward. It'll unlatch and you'll be able to get out. has a nice handle here. It does have on all four doors a strap here where you can roll the windows and roll them up and strap them up and out of the way. We don't actually do that. Um, it just takes too much work. And we come up with the idea of actually just doing this, what we call a fold. It's a, you let it down. Fold it, then you can just grab it there, and it always stays in that position. It's out of your way. Gives you the ability to utilize your window. You're not having to roll it every time. Um, it's just real easy. A lot of people think that the windows are going to scratch up. Um, if you roll them, they will scratch up over time. It's not crazy, and we'll bring you in and show you that. But um, it will. You can see a little line here where we fold this. Um, where it does scratch up just a, a minor little bit there. Um, but they do have a really nice seal around that goes right inside of this channel. And it definitely keeps the dust out of the vehicle. So that's how they open. That's how the windows unzip and you can fold them. To take them on and off, you just pop it on and off. All four of them are exactly the same. They have these right here that you just line up and... You can slip it right back down on. They do have some spacers there as well. Um, so you can make sure it is adjusted correctly. And then there you go. Slide it right back down on. You're ready to roll. Take them on and off. Easy. If you're out in the field picking up rocks, sticks, you can take them off. That way you're not opening and closing the door every time. So as you can see right through here, it really seals up nice. Like I said, the dust, it limits it inside the vehicle. The main dust that gets inside the Ranger is actually in the back here um, behind the rear seats. There's actually a hole that goes to the engine, and that's where most of the dust inside this comes up. We should probably fill that in sometime, but so far it had, the dust hasn't been that bad. Um, but as you can see, the rears, um, they're just dusty, but they do have right here, you can see a little line where it does scratch up a little bit when we fold it uh, to open that window. No scratching or cracks down here or on the lower for the for the rear but we do have 
Uh, same thing with the front. There's no scratching, or I mean, no cracks or any damage to the front window, except for that little crease there uh, from where we fold it. But however, on the bottom here, this is where we've had some issues, okay? Nothing down here on the bottom, except for right here at the top. And this is on both sides. For some reason, this right here, I don't know if it's the tension or how it works or how it kind of maybe catches the wind. But over time, now almost three years, it has started to crack. And it actually cracked and split all the way down through here. So this is almost the size of my hand. Um, that is the one downfall that we have noticed with these doors that on the two front passenger and front driver side door you are going to get some cracking um, with a little bit of use so let me bring you in here and show you this cracking and how it actually looks on both sides so as we come up to the uh, front driver side door you can see that cracking there it just kind of gets a little split there so open it up you see from the inside let me actually open this door all the way and you can see that little crack there so when you're driving it actually does not let wind in it may seep in uh, some cool air but it, it really doesn't allow any wind in that I've noticed let's go take a look at the passenger side I mean, look at look at these leaves, guys. They're still absolutely gorgeous, and this is beyond their peak. So when we come around here to the passenger side, same thing. You can see that split right here, and this side's actually a lot worse. But other than that, there's just a minor scratching. You can see the lines. Same on the rear. They're just a little bit dirty there, but scratching is not terrible. No damage to the bottom two windows on the rear. The uh, rear doors are actually holding up much, uh, much nicer with uh, no real issues to them. So, but yeah, that's what we got going on, guys. I um, wanted to give you a quick rundown of what we've noticed with them. And some of the issues. I sure wish that that would be uh, kind of fixed there to where we wouldn't have the cracking. But, I mean, that's with anything. Once you wear and tear it a little bit, um, things are going to happen. So, But if that's all that happens to these, I think we're going to be good. There's no stitching or anything like that that's falling apart. None of the bolts or anything are have really came loose. Everything's still as solid as it was from the day we got it. And no adjustments has, have been needed uh, since the original adjustments to the door when we uh, when we brought it home from the dealer. Once again, I uh, want to make sure for safety purposes, anybody who does utilize these doors, when you are going to shut them, right, you want to make sure you shut them all the way. So right there, that's not shut all the way. You see that, that little gap? You want to make sure it's completely shut so that it doesn't open back up. All right, so we're inside the Ranger now, and you can see there's a little bit of scratching on the windows, but really not that bad. Uh, you can see that one line right here. That's where we fold it. Um, we like to fold it just so it gets out of the way and we don't have to roll up by those things, those straps there. You can see the back's about the same way. The line is just where we fold it. But overall, the it's minimal scratching that occurs on the actual um, window there. And down here, your visible window there at the bottom. Not, no air really comes into those, uh, those holes there. You can see on this side. You can see how we have it folded here. But you can see these little little cracks here that have started let me get you down here and that is really the only place there that is really having any wear or tear 
but there's really no wind or air that comes in there, believe it or not. You would think it would really be windy in there, but it's not. We'll, we'll see what it's like during the winter, but it, right now it's probably 50 degrees outside and you can't really tell the difference. All right, so see these mirrors here? Your doors will not hit the mirror. Uh, they do kind of extend out enough so you have good clearance. As far as these canvas doors, if the question is if I had to do it again, right, after owning this for almost three years, utilizing these doors, the question is, would I do it again? Would I purchase these same doors? And I think that the answer to that is a continual yes, because I have not had any issues with these doors except for this minor cracking here. Other than that, they have been just flawless and have worked every time. Um, they do their job. They keep the, the cool air out um, when it's cold outside, and they keep the heat in with the heating system. So... They're real easy to take on and off. The windows, simple to operate. And the build quality is actually really, really good. So, yes, I think the, the answer to that is definitely yes. I would continue to buy it again in the future. And I think you guys would uh, probably view it the same way if you actually get to utilize these and test them out for yourselves. Um, so, without that, I think that's pretty much all we're going to cover today. This is just a long-term review after approximately three years of having them, using them, testing them out. Um, I think they're they're just a quality product for the Polaris Ranger XP1000. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate each one of you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to zip this up. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.